Hi, I'm Dr. Chu. I'm a clinician here at Floor Pain Specialist. Today we're going to be talking about exercises to combat common pains and aches that frequently we see in the neck, back, and low back regions at our clinic here. What is lumbar spinal stenosis? What are the causes and what are some symptoms? Lumbar spinal stenosis is when there is reduced space in your spine for your spinal cord. This may result in pain and heaviness and weakness into the legs, especially when you're standing or walking. You may find that your leg pain actually improves if you're sitting down or bending over. Lumbar spinal stenosis can occur uh, two different ways. So the first uh, way that lumbar spinal stenosis can occur is through degenerative changes within the spinal canal. So stenosis really means it's a narrowing of a space where nerves or certain structures tra tra travel through. So in the central canal, that's where your spinal cord travels through and it gives off your spinal nerves. Due to age and degenerative changes that can occur from the disc or the joints in the back, things can push into the central canal and once they push into the central canal, they put pressure on the spinal cord. Once there's pressure put on the spinal cord, what ends up happening is the nerves that come out of the spine are also irritated and they can most commonly cause symptoms of fatigue, cramping and weakness in the legs as well as back pain when you try to stand upright. So the most common thing that you see with stenosis to relieve the pressure off the back and to give some rest for the cramping and pain in the legs is you'll see what's called a shopping cart sign. People will lean forward, they will go into what's called lumbar flexion to relieve pressure off the spinal cord and that will help with their back pain as well as the, the pain that's happening down their legs. Do not worry, this is actually very normal and you sh shouldn't feel the need to extend backwards and stand straight up as this may cause further pain into your back or into your legs. There's a second type of spinal stenosis which is called neuroforaminal stenosis. The first thing that we talked about was the narrowing of the spinal canal. Now there are also areas where the nerves exit from the spinal canal which are the foramen uh, which can also get narrowed through degenerative changes from the disc or the structures around. So the pinching is not actually occurring within the spinal cord, the pinching is occurring as the nerves exit the spinal cord. And so that stenosis can also be a common cause of pain that calms down the leg and in the back. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for any questions about your healthcare, please contact our clinic directly.